Hello and thanks for watching Best Maths Tutor. So I'm continuing to go through the NXL A-Level paper from 2018 and this is paper one. I'm around question nine and we're going to cover all the questions on this paper. So if you find this helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and uh, liking our video by hitting the thumbs up at the bottom. So question nine uh, says we've got this, um, this curve, which is given by this equation, which involves X's and Y's. And the first thing we've got to try and do is we've got to differentiate it. Now, usually when we do differentiation, um, we might have something like this where we've got y is a function of x. And then that's very easy. And we differentiate and we get dy dx. And that's equal to whatever we get when we differentiate f, the function of x. And we might have denoted that by f dash x. In this case, because we've got the x's and y's all mixed in together, and we couldn't get it in this form, y equals a function of x. We have to use a different technique, and this is called implicit differentiation. So if we have something just involving x's, like the x squared, we would just differentiate that as usual. So we would get 2x for that. We differentiate x squared, we get 2x. When we come to the um, the minus 2xy, we've got actually a product there. So I'm just going to make that slightly easier for myself and just uh, consider put the minus in and then just put um, do the differentiation of the 2xy. So we've got a product which is the 2x times the y. So what I'm going to treat is the is u is equal to 2x, and I'm going to let v equal y. And then if I differentiate uh, the u part with respect to x, then what I would get is 2. And if I differentiate y with respect to x, then I actually get, so dv, the dv dx part, the y bit, is actually just dy dx. So if I've got y in my um, expression that I'm differentiating, then y just turns into dy dx. And I'm going to use the uh, the product rule here. So that means that if I was to differentiate all of this, so d by dx, this, then it would be um, the u part, so d the 2x times by the dv part, so dy dx. And then it'd be plus, move the board over a little, the uh, the v part here, so y. And then that's going to be multiplied by the differential of the u part. So that's just going to be uh, times 2. So I'll just write that as 2y. So I'm going to take this and write it over here. So it's all minus that. So it's going to be. Um, I'll just put that in a bracket just for now because we've got a minus at the front. So we've got 2x dy dx, and then we've got plus 2y. And we're now going to, that's a minus there, not an equals. We're now going to differentiate the 3y squared. And so what we do, we differentiate it. First of all, with respect to y rather than x. So if we were to differentiate that, the 3y squared, and consider y is our variable, not x as we're used to, then we would get plus 6y. And then we have to just multiply it by dy dx. So that's the, um, the implicit differentiation method there. And it's going to be equal to zero because 50 would disappear. So I'm just going to tie that all up because it looks a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, so we've got 2x uh, minus 2x dy dx. And then that minus is going to multiply into there. So that's going to be minus 2y. And it's going to be. Um, plus 6y dy dx, and that's still equal to zero. What I'm going to do 
next is actually just factorize it in term, and I'm going to take a dy dx as a common factor. So factorize and collect up that part of it together. So I'm going to have dy dx, and then it's going to be uh, taking the 6y first because it's positive 6y minus 2x. And then I'm going to have um, plus the 2x minus the 2y is equal to zero. And um, what I'm going to do next is just take this uh, 2x and the uh, minus 2y over the other side. So I'm going to get dy dx times the by that bracket is going to equal this because the sign's going to reverse when I take them over the side 2y minus 2x okay and uh, I should have made a bit more space than that even so there we go right so now if I just um, divide by the bracket I'll be left with the 2y dx on its own uh, dy dx on its own so there we go dy dx is going to equal 2y minus 2x over 6y minus 2x and if I divide um, through the top and the bottom by 2 you can see there's a factor of 2 everywhere in this then I will just get y minus x on the top and I will get 3 um, y minus x on the bottom so and that's the that's the solution we were required to find so the next part of the question tells us that the curve is used to model the shape of a cycle track and points p and q represent the points that are furthest west and east are shown here and what we've got to do is use our answer to part a which was dy dx is equal to this and find the exact coordinates of point P. Well, um, usually we might have a question where we're using dy dx to find a maximum or minimum or a turning point. So, for example, such as this. And what we would do to find either of these maximum or minimum points, we would set dy dx equal to zero. Um, but if we're looking for the points that are uh, furthest east and furthest west, they're like, you consider them to be turning points as though the graph has been rotated through 90 degrees. In which case, these points P and Q would be found when not dy dx is equal to zero, but when dx dy is equal to zero. So like the flip of what we have previously. And so, since we've got dy dx is equal to y minus x over 3y minus x, we can actually just invert that, and what we'll get is 3y minus x over y minus x. So the solution to our um, where we will find these points are is when this is equal to zero, and we can get that by setting the top line equal to zero. So we have 3y minus x equals zero and from that we can see that x would equal 3y and what we're next going to do is substitute that into our original equation for the graph so we're going to put this into the original equation so there's our original equation and we're going to replace the x by the 3y so if we do that we get 3y all squared minus 2 and then 3y instead of the x times y plus 3y squared equals 50. And so I'm just going to multiply all, uh, square out these brackets and uh, tidy this up. So I'll get 9y squared minus 6y squared if I times the 2 by 3y and then by the y and then plus 3y squared is equal to the 50. And tying up the left hand side there, I get 6y squared equals 50. I'm going to divide through by 6. So I get y squared 
equals 50 over 6, which is 25 over 3. And um, then I'm just going to square root that. So I'll get y is equal to square root of 25 over 3. And uh, that'll give me 5 over root 3. And then I'm just going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying top and bottom by root 3 there. And so if I do that, then what we can see is we'll end up with 5 root 3 over 3. Now, um, because we've got uh, two answers to the square root of 3, we've got a positive or negative answer. If we look back at the graph, we can see that the point P is below the uh, x-axis, so that would mean that y was equal to a negative value. So we're actually going to take, rather than the positive one, we're going to take the negative value there. And now since we know that x equals 3y, we're going to um, use that to find the x-coordinate. And so if we replace the y by minus 5 root 3 over 3, what that will give us is that x is equal to, um, times that by 3, will give us minus 5 root 3. And I'm just going to then put that in coordinate form. So in coordinate form, that's going to be, um, so as a bracket, minus 5 root 3, the x, and minus 5 root 3 over 3 the y. And we'll leave it in that format because it asks for it as an exact answer. And if we use if we got the root 3 as a decimal, then it wouldn't be exact anymore. So we can see that here's our graph now. And uh, so we've got to explain how to find the coordinates of point the point that's furthest north of the origin. So we'd be interested in this one. So we've not got this point here. So we've not got to find um, or do the calculation as such, we've just got to actually explain what we do. So we have our dy dx. So we will, what we would do is um, we would make dy dx equal zero. And since from before, we found that dy dx was, if I go back up, dy dx was uh, y minus x over 3y minus x. So y minus x over 3y minus x. Then we can see that would equal 0 when y was equal to x. So what we would do then in order to find the coordinates of that point, we would, um, we would substitute y minus x into the equation of the curve and then from that we'd, um, we'd get uh, two solutions and we would take the positive solution since we can see we can see that um, y is positive at the maximum point. So we'd, if we get another solution, the other solution would be this one, which would be the negative value. So we would take the positive solution because we're after the point that's furthest north. Uh, so I hope that's been helpful to you. And if it has been, as I say before, please uh, consider subscribing to our channel and give our video the thumbs up. Thanks for watching.